Is that it? That's what I've taken from the CCTV inside the church. The electrical blowout fried the camera. The whole video scrambled. I can barely make out what they're saying, and we're clearly missing a piece of video at the end. Is there no other way to see what happened? If the footage isn't too corrupted, I, I might be able to do something with it. Maybe clean up the audio quality, if not the video. Good. See what you can do. In the meantime, I'd like to talk to these teenagers. I'd like to know exactly what they were all doing in an abandoned building. Please state your name for the record. Ethel Winkelstein. Trevor Cleveboy. Prince Stevens. Bonnie Hankinson. Uh, Johnny P. Johnson. Xander. Is that your full name? Yeah. What can you tell me about the incident that took place tonight? I don't know. Um, we just went into the church and... It was an accident. We didn't do anything. Well, it was very loud, but I couldn't actually see what was going on. Everything happened really quickly. Someone broke the lights. I don't know. I haven't seen anything. What were you doing at the church? I was filming it with my friend. It's not a documentary. It's not an interesting. He thought a creepy old building would be a good place to film. There was a lightning storm. I came in. To take shelter from the rain. How did you get into the church? Well, I just tried the handle. The door was unlocked when I got there. The window at the back was broken. I climbed in. You received a nasty injury during the course of the evening. How did that happen? Someone pushed me over. Or I fell. I don't know, it was really bright. There was an electrical blowout. What caused the power surge? Why don't you just check the CCTV footage? The blowout fried all of the electrical circuits. The camera feeds are scrambled. Really? Was there anyone else present at the time of the incident? I didn't see anyone. Yeah, there were four other people. The redhead, the blonde guy, the one with the tattoo hoodie. And the girl who came behind me, Bonnie. We'll be making phone calls to have your parents come down and collect you. No, not Grandma, please. She'll be so disappointed. She doesn't even have a car. Oh my god, I want myself home. But it's after eight. I'll be watching Downton Abbey. You can't interrupt Downton Abbey. My parents are dead. I live with my uncle. You'll need to call him. Okay. To the best of your knowledge, is everything you've told me the truth? Yes. 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 Yeah, so, why not? Why wouldn't it be? Testing, testing. One, two, one, two. Are you on? Johnny? Oh, hi, Ethel. Is that a new camera? Yeah. I thought your dad wasn't going to give you the money for a new camera. He didn't. I found this. It's in really good condition. Nice. So, are you making another documentary? Nah. It's so past me. This is going to be sort of like an Art Nouveau sort of thing. It's about a guy whose family dies, who so gets raised by a new family, and then he falls in love with this girl, and he has to fight this other guy to the death, and then it ends. Nice. Like Bambi? No. Like Bambi 2. Although the plots are quite similar. I've never watched Bambi 2. Film that Friday. That's a great idea. I'll ask Grandma if we can rent the DVD. How is Beryl? Who? Your Grandma. She's alright, I got a bit of a cold, but other than that. Oh, we've joined that new bingo club. I'm headed over there now. Do you want to join us? <sighs> no, I, I better get this stuff home. I was just testing out the shop. Have you found someone other than yourself to star in it this time? No. Not yet. What are you doing? I'm sorry, I'm just asking. Can you hand me that bear any food? 
Um, and that screwdriver as well. This one? Yes, boy. Um, that yellow one instead of this. Seriously? No, no, not that one. How about one. this? What are you doing? And that boy burned that book to try and get a reaction from Mr. Bishop. It wasn't. Oh, sorry, I mean, but, like, for the it song. wasn't. We must have taken you from the house. Hello? Oh, okay. I'm at JJ's. I'll be there in a minute. Oh, sorry, I, I didn't see that. What are you doing? Why did you steal my notebook? I didn't steal your notebook. You left it behind. I didn't think it was so precious to you. Well, it is. Give it back. There was a name in there. There were many names in there. Josh Macklin. I knew him. He was a friend at school. So? So? Why have you got a list of names in there? It doesn't matter. I think it does. If you must know, it's a revenge list. A revenge list? People do bad things to me and write the names in People do bad things to me all the time. I don't go write them down in a book. That's your problem. Look, if you're struggling, you should speak to someone. Your mum, your dad. I don't want to. I don't need to. Look, you won't understand. You don't understand anything. What are you doing? Give that back. I was just trying to help. What have you done? Really You've ripped out a page. I didn't mean to. Why did you do that? I really am sorry. Who are these people? Why are you reading that? It's my private information. As if my day couldn't get any worse without bumping into you. I'm sorry. The sorry isn't going to do anything, is it? That's the most important page in my book. Just calm down. Hi guys, welcome back to my top five tips for maths GCSE. So number one is to never stress about your exams. Remember, you're gonna do great and you're gonna do fine. Excuse me, mate, do you know the way to Backstreet? Backstreet? I don't think there is a speaker. <laughs> what, what are you doing? <laughs> stop it, stop it. <laughs> This has got to be worth at least £50. Well, £40 with those scratches. Everything's working. Good features. Now, let's see what's on the memory card. What is that? 
how did you get your hands on all of that? We have access to all public CCTV cameras, and JJ's cafe were extremely helpful. The rest took some digging. Where have you got to with the CCTV from the church? Well, it's, it's, it's not much, but... What is it? Take a look at this. I've managed to clear some of the static, and I've brightened the image to give us a bit more clarity. What exactly am I looking at here? Is that when the lights blew out? Well, yes, but that's not actually what I was referring to. Look in this corner. Are we missing some footage? No, sir. Look at everyone else. No one else has moved. Is that... Xander? Where did she come from? To the best of your knowledge, is everything you've told me the truth? Yes. 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 Yeah, so, why not? Why wouldn't it be? You think so? I probably broke my arm. That's scary. I'm sorry. So it was you. You caused it. No. I don't think so. How could I? Maybe. I mean, I did, but it wasn't me. What? I didn't know what I was doing. Have you ever done that before? No, never. Can you still do it now? I mean, could you do it now if you tried? Maybe, but I don't think I want to try again. Well, think what you could do with that kind of ability. Ability? I call it a power cut. We should never have gone into the church. You think? Oh, I'm sorry. Do I know you? Him? I don't oh, know. No, no, not him. You? No. No. What? Well, I'm sure I recognize you. You've voice. never seen her before. No, I, I do know your voice. You I'm must be sure. thinking of someone else. Are you a bachelor boy? We're in a police station, why not? Have you done for this? No, no, please don't. Look, I'll give you a bank. I need to come with me. My legacy. I must have fallen onto some glass after when the lights exploded. Yeah, how did that happen? No, not the explosion of the lights. You being able to leave them. Yeah, you weren't standing anywhere near me. I guess I had an umbrella in the bush. Can we go to the fact that she'll be in the room with us? Yeah. Who are you? Why is everything got to do with you? Wait, do you know each other? No. Yes. But I didn't see it again. You? I was there the whole time. Maybe no, no. I was the first one to come in and I didn't see it. What's your problem? When did you arrive? Or all of you? No, because I filmed this coming out on my camera. You weren't there. Hey, wait up! Can you see me? Can you hear me? Am I invisible? I can see and hear you fine. I just want to be sure. I called you since you walked out. What were you doing? I was there to talk to the police, like you. No, 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 the church. What were you doing at the church? I was just taking shots from the rain. It was raining quite hard. And what happened? What did you see? We were all in the same room. The lights went out, the window smashed, and for a moment I thought I saw a man. A man? What did he look like? I don't know. He was just a shadow. Just leave me alone. Stop following me. Come on, you can't hide it this time. I saw what happened yesterday. I don't know what you mean. I think you do. Two weeks ago, when we first spoke on the street, I looked away for one minute and then bang, you were gone. You were annoying me and I walked away. No, you vanished. I didn't imagine it. And it happened again at the church last night. You weren't there and then suddenly you were. I was there the whole time. Maybe you were, but not one of us saw you. You're not going to stop annoying me about this, are you? No, because I know what I saw. This is no sci-fi film. This is... This is not a magician's trick. You're not Dynamo. This is plain old you. Plain old Xander. What do you want me to say? That I can turn invisible? 
can you? I, I don't know if it's invisibility really, it's just a way of being around on notice. When did it first happen? When I was seven, my parents used to argue all the time. And whenever I walked into the room, it would get worse. So, I used to wish that I just couldn't be seen. Then one day, I walked into the room and I didn't even look up. I didn't even bat an eyelid. It was like I didn't exist. And since then, I've learned to control it. For ages, it only happened when I needed it. Physically and logically, this can't be true. What do you mean? You're the one that asked. I'm not asking you to believe it. Do it now. Show me. No. Why not? I don't want to talk about this anymore. Just leave me alone. Go away, Grandma. Not Grandma, I thought. It's me, Johnny. I just want to talk. Then. Where's Mom? It's so good upset as Mom fraction. What happened? Someone pushed me over and the lights went out. I blacked out until the police arrived, but that's not interesting. What happened to you? I, I don't know. There was sort of energy and everything went white. It was all a blur after that. But when I woke up this morning, I reached for the lamp and it exploded. It shattered everywhere. I went to go make breakfast and the toaster fried. The toast came out black and crispy. I had to tell Grandma that it was faulty, but sooner or later she's going to know that it isn't the appliances. I'm too afraid to touch anything. Is this the first time this has happened? Is this the first time I've caused an electrical power surge with my bare hands? No, it's the first time for me. Mom, you should know this. We've been best friends since we were three. You know this isn't normal. Do you? Hello? Is the police? Sir? You're going to want to take a look at this. More footage? No, I mean, yes. Well, not new footage, it's just... More footage from the CCTV inside the church. Yes. See here. That's when the lights exploded. Exactly. So, what is this? Call Alec. Tell him to bring that girl back in here. You're all right. You look a bit lost. It's you. Yes, sorry. We met at the interrogation. Well, technically, we met before that, but... Has the police called you, like, after the interrogation? No. Why? They call me. They want me to go down to the station. Why? I think they're going to kill me. Whoa! Calm down. They're not going to kill you. Besides, there was loads of people last night. It wasn't just you. Why would they pin it on you? But it might have been me. I might have caused it. Really? That's incredible. How do you control that kind of power? I, I don't know. Is it magnetic or electric? I don't know! That's your problem then, isn't it? Your powers are connected to your emotions. Anger, fear, frustration. I'm sorry. I've just been there before. Quite excited. It's, it's all new to you. Wait, you have powers too? No, I, I don't have any powers, but I, I know someone... It doesn't matter. Look. I've got this place, it's under the radar. If you want to stay away from the police, I can help you. you. You'll help me? Yes, I'll help you. Come on. What are you doing here? None of your business. Anyway, what are you doing here? Actually, I was looking for you. Why? You like. Back in the police station. I saw every person in that room, and you weren't one of them. You only appeared after I think went white. Can you do something to make yourself unseen? Tell me. Yes, I can make myself. What are you doing? What do you mean? I didn't want to say that. You made me say that. No, I didn't. You did. You did it before too. You told me to calm down for an hour afterwards. I felt like I was on meds. I'm sorry. It is you, isn't it? You have a... what do we even call them? Superpowers? That sounds like something out of a comic book. Let's just stick to power for now. So... 
Have you always been able to do this? Because so many people say what you say. I think so. Sometimes, when I try really hard, I could convince people to do what I wanted. But it didn't always work. Recently though, I barely even have to try. There's been other stuff too. It's like it's getting stronger. Recently? You mean, since that night at the church? Yeah, since then it's gotten really weird. Me too. I could always disappear whenever I wanted to, and now I can't. Wait, you mean you could always turn invisible? Yeah, ever since I was little. Do you know how it happened? How you got your power on? It happened naturally. Same. What were you saying about the church? Well, it's like, I keep glitching. I can't always disappear, and when I do, I can't hold him for very long. So, whatever happened in the church has affected your power? Yeah, I guess so. That's interesting. What? Have you suddenly developed the ability to fade into nothing? No, it's just when mm. I say it's getting stronger. Do you hear that? from the church. Look, have you seen my friend? She's got this tall, she's got red hair, she's called Ethel. Yeah, 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 I remember. Why was she hanging around here? She lives here with the grandma. I didn't see her. What were you doing? I'm looking for someone too. My uncle. My uncle. What, does you, what does your uncle look like? It doesn't matter. He's not here. I didn't say anything about my uncle. Yes, you did. Oh, well, what would he be doing here anyway? Works here sometimes. Look, I need to go. Hope you find your friend. I know your uncle. You do? Uh, he, he's tall, he's got grey hair. Oh, yes, that's him. How's you know? I just. I remember him, I've seen him around. Have you looked in the church? No. I've got a feeling. Come on. I'll help you look for him. Prince, what are you doing here? Oh, you have a friend with you. How are you doing, boy? What are you doing here, Uncle? Manners, child. What have I told you about prying into my business? Well, it was all locked up. Well, I'm a very busy man. I have things here to attend. Ah, well, my man is I didn't ask your friend's name. But it, it, it's Johnny. Johnny Jonathan. Is that right? Nice to meet you, Johnny. Prince, you don't look like you've eaten. You look too famished. Why don't I make us a dinner? Back up at the house. Your friend can join us. I, I'm all right, thank you. I insist. Any friend of Prince's is welcome up at the house. I've got to get home. Well, perhaps you've come here Looking for something in the church? No, no I, I was helping Prince looking for you. Is that right? Well, another time for dinner then. Prince, we best make our way back to the house. Why don't you say goodbye to your friend? Thanks. Sure, I'll see you later. Come along, boy. Sorry, it's a bit dark in here. Do you live here all by yourself? Yeah. No parents? No. Brothers? Sisters? It's just me. Oh. Sorry. No, it, it, it's nice, really. So, this electrical thing. There must be a way for you to control it. I've never been able to. But you've only had it for 24 hours. So far, everything I've done has resulted in stuff blowing up. That's just lack of control. It has to be. From what you've told me, you've only used your powers when you're angry, scared, frustrated. Why don't you try and use it when you're calm? No. Why not? Because every time I think about trying, I think about what could go wrong. And then I get stressed and something explodes. Okay. Why don't you try it now? Turn on this lamp. What if I break it? 
You won't. What if I do? You, you won't break it, trust me. Unbreakable lamp. Go on. Try it. How? I don't know. Um, just concentrate. Relax. Don't think about things that might happen. Think about the lamp turning on. See? There we go. <laughs> I did it. I'll never be able to control it. Yes, you will. You, you have more power than you realise. What do you mean? That lamp hasn't turned on since I knocked it over last month. Having more practice and you'll be fine. How do you know? Have you never seen a Marvel movie? No. Seriously? You've never seen a Marvel movie? Thor, Captain America, Iron Man. Iron Man. That sounds good. Oh. My grand takes iron tablets. She's anemic. Seriously, we need to get your film culture sorted out. You want a cup of tea? Yeah. Anything? Nothing. It's as though there's no footage in between. As though we just travelled at the speed of light across the room. Of course, that would be impossible. Are Alec and Maria still keeping surveillance on these teenagers? Yes. Why? Well, it's just... I heard that duo agents are only kept tabs on... Just stick to your job, Patrick. Leave Mulder and Scully to theirs, alright? Yes, sir. Mrs. Darcy, uh, may I introduce first Earl of uh, West Yorkshire, uh, Sir Digby Robertson. Oh, bring him in, will you, Jeeves? Evening, ma'am. Uh, pardon? I said evening, ma'am. Uh, Jeeves, uh, did you mention that Sir, Sir Robertson spoke German? Uh, no, ma'am. He is from the so north. Go, uh, he owns the coal mines there. Uh, be wonderful to see you after such long journey. So I'll get it, uh, Will you please excuse me, uh, Sir Robertson? Uh, I need to dispose of oneself. Hello, Ethel Love. Hi, Mrs. Jonathan. Can I see Johnny? Oh, of course. Jonathan, someone to see you. Thanks, Mum. Look, before you say anything. Where did you find this? Trevor gave it to me. Who's Trevor? The guy from the incident. He's tall, blonde hair, wears black. Why have you been hanging out with him? Where have you been? After the police called, I left. I told Grandma I had stuff to do with school and she trusted me. She shouldn't have, but she did. But it's summer, we're not in school. I, I panicked. I didn't know what to do. I had to get somewhere far away from the police. Somewhere they wouldn't find me. Trevor, he has a flat. It's under the radar. He offered to help. Help? But he stole from me. He's a thief. I, I don't care. He helped me. I trust him. Look, we're all going back to the church. Why? Because we need to talk about what happened, all of us. We can't just keep running away and avoiding the question. We need to figure out what happened that night. Look, it's not safe. There's this weird guy, the Prince's uncle, he's... I didn't mean to, I'm so sorry. What is it? Look, please don't go. I have this horrible feeling that something's going to go terribly wrong. You're just saying that's so how I won't go. No, it, it's dangerous, don't. You don't have to come if you don't want to. I think it'd be really good if you did, though. We need to figure out what happened. I guess if you don't want to. I hope you'll be there, though.
clothes on the what are you doing here? What happened? Stop, stop. This is what happened with Ethel. Her powers are being affected by her emotions. It's the same with you. But it's never been that way, and it's different with Ethel. She just got off power. Do you trust me? I guess. Me and Ethel, they're meeting here tomorrow night. We should bring in Johnny. We're going to talk about what's happened. If we find the source, we can get some answers. Isn't that what you want? You can invite Bonnie. You may find facts. How do you know all these people? They were all here on the night. I don't want to talk to them. I don't even see the little help. You've all got powers. You're all in the same boat. It's a chance for you to talk together. You know I don't like talking. I know you don't like talking, but it's for one night. Well, it's fine. Alright, we'll see you then. Bye. <laughs> Good, you're here. You did ask me to meet you. Yes, yes. Look, I need to ask you again about that man you saw at the church. I told you. I don't remember. I think it was my uncle. What? I don't know for sure. He's been acting stranger, even stranger than before all this even happened. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down. Sorry. Start from the beginning. It started a few months ago. My uncle started acting weird. Sometimes he stayed out all night. But he wouldn't tell me where he was going, or what he was doing. He's never been the nicest person, but he started getting grumpier with me. Shouting. Telling me to leave him alone. He would lock himself in his office. Doing his weird experiments, or whatever. What makes you think he was the man at the church? The day of the incident, I rang the old folks' place looking for him. They said he called in sick. He wasn't home when I got back from the police station, and he was still out the next morning. When I went to try and find him, I bumped into that guy Johnny. He suggested looking at the church, and there was Uncle, coming out of what should have been a locked door. That does sound suspicious, but he may have just heard of what happened and wanted to check the place out. We don't know if he was there when we were. That's why I called you. Is this the guy you saw? Maybe. I'm not sure. I told you, everything happened really quickly. It's okay. It was a long shot anyway. Has anything... Has anything weird happened to you since the night of the church? What do you mean, weird? I can do this thing. I've always been able to do it where I can convince people to do things just by talking to them. Do you mean make people do things? Things that they don't want to do? I don't do it very often, at least I didn't. But I've got more control over it. And Xander, she was at the church. She could do this thing too, but it's getting harder for her. It wasn't an adrenaline rush. What? When the lights exploded, I was on the other side of the room to Johnny. There's no way I would have gotten to him on time. But I did! I can't explain it! Has anything similar happened since? No. So something happened to cause the lights to go crazy, and now people have powers. Seems so. What caused it? So there was a gas leak, and we're all having a shared hallucination. <laughs> <laughs> We've been taken over by lots of people, and the lights exploding were them trying to hypnotize us. <laughs> We've been mind tricked. Found a magic letter. Johnny tricked us into believing something happened, so he could film us for his movie. Your uncle knows about people with powers and was trying to save them for himself. Someone of the old folks' home. No, since I think that's it. What? Your uncle. You said he did experiments. Yeah, he and my dad were both inventors. My dad worked with electronics. My uncle with chemicals and stuff. What if he was working on something that needed more space? And he knew that the church was abandoned. That's why he's been out more than usual. Because he hasn't just been working on his experiments at home. The man I saw, he was stood at the door of the basement. What if your uncle has something hidden down there? 
and he was working on it that day. But something went wrong. And it caused an explosion. We should go back and check it out. I promised Xander I'd meet her and Trevor tonight at the church. Why? To talk about powers. Xander and I already had them, but that gal Ethel didn't. And after what you did, pushing Johnny out of the way, Trevor's the only one that seems like he doesn't have a power. Come on, let's go down. So, when you arrived and found the teenagers there, there was definitely only six of them, right? Yes. And there isn't a back door? No. There was a broken window in the back of the building. But he would have had to go past the kids to get to it. Who would have? I didn't see it at first. It was only when I lightened the image, and I can't get anything afterwards. He was only in a handful of frames. Do you know who that is? Sir? Call Alec and Maria. Tell them to get down to the church. Now! We don't want to attract too much attention. Too late. This is how hard to get the lines Calm down, he's probably just waiting to collect a friend. He's spying on us, watching the church, he's probably just waiting for us to come back here. Did he see you? No, he definitely saw you too. We should get out of here. No, wait. Wait here, I'll, I'll go take a look. There's no car out there. Why is there? He's probably just waiting to collect a friend. Oh, you're here. He's joining with you. No, he's sorry. Well, I guess it's almost all of us. Can we just get this over with? We think we know what happened the night of the storm. Really? How? Let's get this. Who was the first to arrive? Me. I was hiding out here. There was a police car parked on my street. I panicked. I thought it was to do with taking Johnny's car. Which gave you back? You were next, right? Yeah, me and Johnny came in together. I was behind you. What made you have invisibility? Right. Then it was us. But then it wasn't just us. I think it was someone else who was already here before any of us arrived. I saw someone. What? Who? A man. I thought I imagined it at first. After Ethel exploded, I think I saw him at the door of the basement. I think it was my uncle. Listen. My dad was an inventor. He made these incredible electronic gadgets. Stuff he sold to big companies. My uncle didn't like it. Said that my dad was selling out, refusing to do any of the work with him. And I'm going to tell you he was still very secretive about his own work with him. But recently, he's been acting even stranger. Strange how? Disappearing at odd times. His clothes had weird stains on them. Grubby. Like oil, maybe. We walked past his house on the way over here. Prince noticed that his car was in the driveway, so we searched the room. That's a violation of privacy. In this case, I think it's just we found rules. Boy 12, accused of causing lightning storm after school experiment goes wrong. So it's not just us, other people have powers too. People who experience natural disasters or peculiar incidents. Report that strange things started happening. One of them now works as a psychic in Vegas. <laughs> I think my uncle was trying to figure out a way to create these kinds of powers to give to himself. But how is that possible? It doesn't make sense. Says the walking electric current. I mean, how do you think you could do it without anyone finding out? The storm is the key. That booms of thunder to cover the experiments taking place underneath. You were in the church basement. An abandoned church is spooky enough to give you a little bit of a closer. Too much going to a bomb correct. No. Not even the police. Too frightening ghost stories. It was you! Why do you look so worried? Not a comic book, Billy. Although, 
My experiment certainly worked, didn't it? With a few miscalculations on my part, I can admit that. Instead of gaining power for myself, it was you children who reaped the reward. All except you two, it would be. How did you do it? It was easy for me. Once I figured out the spark, the catalyst of change within the human DNA, that's the whole secret of this. Anyone who has the potential, that potential just needs to be unlocked. Despite the unfortunate loss of my brother, it was the real genius that came from machinery, the kinds necessary. And I was able to hobble something together on my own. And then it was just a flip of the switch. How did you know it would work? You could have seriously injured someone. Spoken like your grandmother. It was best they were for My experiments, yes! Did you still listen for my tattoo? This is science, girl. The kind of science no one had ever seen the like of before. The kind of science easily mixed up with legend, confused with myth, magic. And it's within our grasp. What would you sacrifice for such a worthy cause? You're insane! No, I didn't mean to. I'm so sorry. Prince! That was so cool! Wow! Amazing! I never even did this before. Is he okay? Uh, I think so. Johnny, Johnny, can you hear me? I need, I need to get out. To get out. They were all, all crazy. crazy. Did my uncle, Did my uncle really, really do this? Do this? I, should I should have forced, forced Johnny, Johnny to stay at home. home. He's, He's too unpredictable. Too unpredictable. What, did what did he just say? I didn't say anything. Something about... You hit your head real hard there, mate. Oh, I don't want to make me. Johnny, leave him alone. I don't think that's the time. Just shut up, all of you. He's giving us the answers we want. Isn't this why you're all here? I want to see it. Where is the gene in though? I want to see it. Of course. Of course. Why don't we all wait here? And Trevor will bring the machine out. Wait. Don't trust it. You have no idea what's down there. Calm down. It'll be fine. Why didn't you tell me this? What you were doing? Why didn't you tell me about your super speed? That was right. You have no idea what that machine could do. Johnny, can you hear me? Ha, thought so. You can read minds. Calm down. Don't let on you can hear me. Walk backwards, towards the basement door. Okay, too far, that's me. Sorry! I think you're right. What? Stop talking. I think you're right about Trevor. How did Prince's uncle know his name? Can you hear what he's thinking? It's all garbled. I, I can hear it all at once and I, I can't make anything out. Keep them up here. I'm going into the basement. Wait, Xander! Enough of this! We're wasting time! What do you mean? What are you planning? My experiment, of course. Last time you five stole what should have been mine. This time I won't fail. Who knows if the experiment is a success? You might even let some of you keep your powers. Let's us keep them. You were never supposed to have them, girl. I gave you those powers and I can just as easily take them back. Try me. Don't. Are you on your side? Enough! Trevor, get to the machine! You traitor! Freeze! I had a dream last night. I dreamt that I was swimming in the stars up above. Directionless and drifting Time, love Time, love Time, love It's only a change of time You're all trespassing on the crime scene! I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you all some questions as to the reason why we're here. My name is Alec, and this is my assistant Maria. 
not under arrest yet. You'll better have some seriously good reasons to why you're here. Ah, uh, officers. Ah, oh, that seems right. I uh, followed these children in this church. Oh, one of them is my nephew. I didn't want them getting into any trouble. Uh, perhaps I should leave one question them. I couldn't get anything out of them. He's lying. He did follow us. He was already here. You've already caused enough trouble. You don't want to add lying to your list of crimes. Our crimes? You mean your crimes? He's been doing experiments in the basement. You never leave us going to take a look. Right. Now, uh, officers, you don't really believe these children, do you? We're merely assessing the whole situation. The situation is that they're a bunch of teenagers. Oh, shut up. Bonnie. Hey. You can go back to your little car and call for backup. You're going to need it for this one. Yes. Yes, sir. You should get back up. What did you do that for? Did you use his help? I wasn't thinking. I just... Oh. No! Stop! That wasn't me. No, it wasn't. Everyone stand still. Not off the electricity yet. Don't you dare! Open your mouth, Bonnie. Now here's what's going to happen. You're going to join me and my friend downstairs, and we're going to finish this once and for all. All right? Do what he says. Sander? What did I say about opening your mouth? Bonnie, it's okay. Come on, Greg. Duo. D. U. O. What does it stand for? <coughs> Department of Unexplained Oddities. They keep tabs on supers, among other things. Supers? Oh. You watch the footage, right? You think there's another explanation? But. This machine that Dr. Stevens built, is that really what started it? No, that's what started it for some of them. Two of the girls already had abilities. Sanders developed very early by the sound of it. What about Bonnie Hankinson? Along with the mind controlling abilities. <laughs> oh, she was an interesting one. Last year she ran away from home. Why hasn't she showed up on our files as a runaway? Well, we think she may not have entirely understood her ability. But during cases of heightened emotion, she was extremely capable of convincing people to do what she wanted. She told her family not to look for her, so they didn't. Told her friend's family that she was their daughter, so they accepted it. <laughs> as simple as that? Of course not. But, you know, if those closest don't question it, who else is going to? Prince Stevens was still looking into. We have suspicions that his father might have been a super. I mean, it's conceivable, that's how his brother and Dr. Stevens found out about them, began his research. So, you knew about him already? The uncle, I mean. Yeah, I mean, we've known of Dr. Stevens' interest in supers for a while. I thought Prince might reveal something, so we had surveillance on him before the incident at the church ever took place. The boy was working with him. How did that happen? Kids go missing every day. He was an orphan, and Dr. Stevens opened a world where he could achieve great things, even if it cost the lives of other people. How did he escape? There was a cellar door in the basement. We think it's how Dr. Stevens left during the incident two weeks ago. So, there's no trace of Trevor Cleveway? Ah, no. We'll never know if the machine worked. Whatever he did, blew it to pieces. I doubt even Dr. Stevens could fix it now. You know one thing though? Children were all interviewed at once. There's no trace of their powers. So, where do they go from here? Move on. This was just a small incident. 
and blip on them off of their lives. What they do now, how they learn from it. That's all up to them. Close their eyes. 